completed drawing of Kit Harrington as Jon Snow from Game of Thrones. Yeah, the video of the drawing process is now out on my drawing channel. So feel free to check it out if you guys are interested in seeing the process of how I did this drawing. I'll put the link down below. And I know a lot of you have already checked out the video, so thank you so much for taking the time to do that. I appreciate you. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to eat some Japanese food, which is my favorite. And this time around, we're going to eat some Japanese curry rice. And before I show you guys the food, if this is the first time we've met, welcome to my channel. I do eating shows like this every week, so if you enjoy watching eating shows, please do consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon next to it so you don't miss anything. Okay, so for today's food, I went to this Japanese store in Singapore called the Washuku Goen Japanese Food. Yeah, they have many outlets in Singapore. I'll put more details in the description box below. And what I like about this Japanese store is that they are very generous with their portion sizes and their prices are really affordable as well. Like this very big plate of Japanese curry rice with so much stuff on it is only $19. Yeah, which I consider to be very cheap because if I were to order this same amount of food in a Japanese restaurant, I think it would be like double or triple the price. Okay, so I've ordered this Japanese Ultimate Original Curry Rice, which is the biggest plate of curry rice that they have on their menu. There's fried fish, fried chicken, fried potato, croquette, half boy egg, some beef slices, curry and rice. As always, a big thank you to my patrons. Thank you so much for your pledges. Thank you so much for supporting me, for feeding me. <laughs> If you guys wish to support what I do, which is my eating channel and my drawing channel, my Patreon link is down below. Your help is very much appreciated. <laughs> okay, let's start eating. I'm super hungry. <laughs> Let me start with this one. The fried chicken. Fried chicken cutlet. Mm. Okay, that was a rather big chunk to swallow. <laughs> I'm gonna add some Japanese mayonnaise. The skin is very crispy and the chicken's flavor is really nice. <laughs> okay, let's eat some curry rice. Curry rice with beef. The beef is really soft. Oh wow, this is good. <laughs> and yes, I feel so much better now. <laughs> Can you guys hear that? I think that was my stomach growling.
the curry is only a little bit spicy. It's not those curry that is like very spicy. I prefer it this way. Do you guys like Japanese curry rice? Okay, let's go for this one. Fried fish. It's really soft inside. The fish is good. It's like eating fish and chips. I think this one is the fried potato. It's so creamy! <laughs> I love Japanese rice. <laughs> I would eat Japanese food every day if I could. But they are usually really expensive. So I'm really happy to have found this store. Their food is really affordable. Even they also have ramen and udon. And they are all at a very reasonable price. If you guys watching this are in Singapore right now, you should definitely go check out this store. I'll put more info of this restaurant, this Japanese store in the description box below. I think a lot of people have tried to do a food challenge on this curry rice. They will order the largest plate and then they will try to finish it, like a food challenge.
I'm not sure if I can finish everything. I think I can, but I don't know. There are a lot of meat, so that might fill me up really fast. We'll see. <laughs> That was so good. <laughs> Oh yeah, you guys know Nick Avocado, Nick Avocado Avocado. Yeah, so recently he just uploaded a video saying that he 
is gonna quit YouTube and that he's gonna delete his channel. Yeah, I watched that video and he seemed really upset in the video. I feel really bad when I saw that video and I don't know, I hope that it's not true. You know, I hope that he's just, you know, ranting and that he will feel better and then he will come back. I really hope that's the case because if he were to really quit YouTube because of the haters, then the haters win. Yeah, I would hate to see the haters get the better of him. So I really hope that that was just him, you know, blowing off steam and that he just needs a good rest. And he will come back. I really hope he comes back. What do you guys think? Have you seen the video? I don't know, I don't think he should quit. I think the best revenge against those haters is to be happy and successful. Maybe he just needs a break. Then he'll come back again. But I can understand some of his frustration. I think he he gets really a lot of hate on his um, videos. I get a lot of hate on my videos too. Most of them are hidden in the help for review section because I have the comment filter turned on in the comment settings. Yeah, so I can totally get what he's talking about. Like if I were to go to my that help for review section where all the mean and toxic comments are and if I were to like really read through every one of them and spend time thinking about it it would send me down a downward spiral <laughs> so yeah if I were to keep dwelling on those mean comments it can make me feel like want to give up too so I can understand his frustration I don't know, I just hope that he feels better soon.
Yeah, come to think of it, Nick was saying that the video that he did with his husband, two of them eating uh, the noodles, he was saying that in that video, they get so much hate and a lot of people were attacking his husband. Yeah, come to think of it, if I were to bring someone that I care about in the video with me and then I see all the comments attacking this person, I'll be really pissed too. Okay, I'm starting to feel full already. I've been getting a lot of requests from you guys to ask me to make a video on uh, what I eat in a day and what I do in a day, like what do I do when I'm not filming or like do vlogging. Like tell you guys more about my personal life and tell you guys stories of what's happening in my life. Well, that's not gonna happen. I don't know, I'm sorry. I. I don't know, I'm just a very private person and I feel that whatever I'm doing now, like putting myself out here to do these eating shows for you guys, is already very far out of my comfort zone. I'm already putting a lot out. I'm already putting a lot more out than I'm comfortable with. So. I don't know, I'm just very private and if, if I were to share with you guys what I do privately, my personal life, my problems, my stories, I feel that if I were to do that and put it out in the public too, like my eating shows, then it's like there's nothing left private for me. It's like everything is all out in the open and I just don't feel like doing that at this point at least, maybe in the future but for now I really don't feel like doing it so it's not you it's me 
It's not that I don't want to share things with you guys. It's just that... Yeah, I, I just feel... I just don't feel comfortable doing it now at this point. And that's the reason why I've turned down a lot of interviews. Yeah, so far there's like two to three magazines, local magazines in Singapore. They want to like interview me and have a article on me. Yeah, and then there's also some other interview for a video, but I turned them all down. I know you must be thinking, what, are you nuts? <laughs> Why not do it? You know, it's like good exposure and things like that. I just don't feel like answering questions. I don't know why they want to interview me too. I mean, I'm just filming myself eating. What's so special about that? Alright, I think I can finish today's meal.
But yeah, I think another reason why I don't really want to do those interviews is because I have to keep talking. Yeah, so to do the interview, first I'll have to get out of my house, which is a challenge on its own. And then I have to go and meet a bunch of people that I don't know. And then I have to tell them about my thoughts and feelings on things. <laughs> it takes me a while to get to know someone before I open up, so... So it's like, if I don't know you, I really don't feel like telling you anything about me. You guys must think I'm really weird, right? This is so creamy. Today's meal is excellent. It's been a while since I had Japanese curry rice, so I really enjoyed eating today's meal. And everything is really good too. I love that um, fried potato thing. It's so creamy on the inside. <laughs> yeah, and the best part is this meal is only $19. Yeah, for everything that you see here, it's only $19. I think if I were to go to a Japanese restaurant, you know, like a sit-down type of Japanese restaurant, I think if I were to order the same amount of food, it would be probably 50 to $60. Yeah, so I'm saving a lot here by eating from this store. I'll definitely eat from them again, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you all in my next video which will be Sunday or Monday for some of you. Yeah, so until then, take care and love you. Bye!